We do, Coach, yep. and you just mentioned both of them, Anthony and Malik, with us now. And before we get started, you we got something we got to do, yeah, right? Yeah, we got some Kicking disposables. Old school. Yeah. old school new bloods, cameras. Okay. With the new oh, blood branding. You guys <laughs> are all <laughs> over <laughs> this, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so first, right, we'll we're going to smile. This, <laughs> see how this comes out. You know. Let's do flash it. Off? No, flash off. Flash off. We got enough light. <laughs> it's, it's enough light. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> you guys pointed us. <laughs> Can't wait to go. see when how When it's not digital, yeah, we'll just see how it works. We have no idea. I got confidence. I got confidence in that. Like, I, you should have confidence in Chuck. Of Same course. thing. That's how it's got to work. <laughs> Love um, you, Chuck. <laughs> we don't know how that's going to turn out, but we do know how you guys turn out year after year under Coach Hamilton and, and what he has built there. Let's start with this off season. What has it been like? I mean, we've been uh, practicing all summer, working. Uh, we have a lot of new guys uh, came in. They love being in the gym, getting shots up. They ask a lot of questions and are willing to learn and uh, give everything they got to get buy into the system, and it's been great so far. You got the new blood branding on the camera. We guys, you guys have a phenomenal culture and program. Malik, how would you describe that culture to people that, that may not be acquainted with Florida State basketball as much as they show, which is still crazy? Uh, I would say the culture is like a brotherhood. Uh, the culture is like is unlike anything I've ever been a part of. Uh, it's more of just like a family. Uh, and Coach Ham does such a great job with just recruiting the right guys and bringing everybody in to make sure they're just the right fit. It doesn't matter how talented they are. It's about do they fit what we need? Do they fit into our family? And that's how it's been ever since I've been here. And I've been just shocked about the results because it makes a difference. The chemistry makes a, it makes a complete difference. It helps you push through adversity. It helps trust your teammates offensively and defensively. And, and that's just the culture he's built around. And I'm honored to be a part of it. Malik, what's it like playing for him? What's it like playing for him? Oh, man, it's, 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 it's incredible. I mean, I can't really describe the feeling, but, you know, he's – Coach Ham has done so much for us. He sacrificed so much for us. Uh, he, he puts us first. And when somebody puts you first and somebody actually shows that they care about you genuinely, you, you do anything for them. And, you know, that's, that's what it feels like when I play for Coach Ham. It's like whatever he needs is whatever I, uh, we're going to do. I'm going to make sure that it's going to get done. Uh, and that's how everybody else feels. And that's just, like I said, the culture that he's, the, he's created is that where he brings in the right people. And the right people, you got a lot, whole bunch of selfless guys who will do anything for their brothers. And that's what makes it reciprocated on and off the court. So it's just been an amazing experience playing for Coach Ham. Uh, All-time favorite coach. Anything else you want to add? I mean, he said it all. <laughs> uh, great guy. I mean, he cares so much uh, about us, not just on the basketball court, but also off the ba uh, for after basketball. So, I mean, you can't ask for more than that. We, we sit here up here and we always talk about the fact that Florida State's underrated. Um, people nationally have started to be aware now. I would assume you guys will be in the top 20 when the, when the, when the rankings come out at least. Um, when, you, when you think about that, is it possible <coughs> to be underrated if everybody keeps calling you underrated? Uh, I believe so. I mean – We've been working so hard, and like like you said, Coach Amos built this culture where every year uh, we are not in the top 25, and we're not ranked, and then at the end of the year, we're we're always at the top. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's been shown over the past years, and uh, uh, I think it's time that new bloods get some respect. Yeah. But I mean, we just go day by day, uh, work and practice, try to uh, do what like mistakes that we've done that day. Uh, recover the next day, do them better until the end of the season, and that's how we show the results. Just go work day by day. Do you have a little chip on your shoulder? Do you oh, think you of course. Yeah. Uh, you know, at this point, I mean, being constantly underrated, it honestly was, I guess, I would say a blessing and a curse. I mean, you definitely get that chip on your shoulder, but, it, you know, you know that you're a lot better than what people assume that you would be, but the fact that Florida State, a culture that has been successful in the past five, six years, the fact that we constantly feel underrated or called underrated, you know, it allows us to focus on just us, you know. Mm -hmm. it, we don't pay attention to the rankings. We don't pay attention to the media, the hype, uh, whatever has been said about us because we know who we are and we're confident in who we are. We know that we have our own unique system of running things. We, we have our own unique system of doing things. So we trust that. We trust that along as we trust the coaches and the players. So. Whether we're in the top 25, top 20, not in the top 20, it's not going to make a difference to us because we're confident in what we can do. We know what we're capable of, and we're just ready to go out there and prove it time and time again. You guys got some new faces and, and three top 100 recruits that came in this year. What have you seen so far from the freshmen and how they're kind of buying into what you guys are doing there? Uh, very competitive guys that are that come in the gym every day, and they ask questions, like I said, and then they don't back down from anything. They've been there 
this is their first year. We've been there for uh, four years. Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't matter. They come in, compete, and get better. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, one thing that's very encouraging about the, the f new freshmen that are coming in are that they're, they're willing to learn. You know, that's that's always the first step towards just bringing anybody in is that they're they're not stubborn. They're like blank sheets of paper waiting to be, you know, guided, you know. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that even though they might be coming in as five stars or four stars, they come in with that sense of being humble and is there's no arrogance from them, no cockiness from them. They're confident in their game, which is we expect them to be, but they're just they're willing to learn. They're they're willing to trust us, us vets, trust the coaches and buy into the system. And that's what I feel like is gonna be uh the de the determining factor in our long term success is are we willing to consistently buy in into the culture, buy in into what the coaches are telling us, the defensive strategies, the scouting plan, uh, I mean, everything. And so the fact that they're showing that early is very encouraging and very motivating to see what our success will be like later on in the year. You mentioned coach always bringing in the right players. You, finding humility with top 100 recruits, that doesn't always happen. So exactly. that, that, that is part of the right guys. Um, you also have Caleb Mills coming in, and he mm -hmm. was in preseason all, uh, player of the year in the AAC last year before COVID happened, some COVID issues, some injury issues. Coach told us earlier, though, he, he wants to be the best defensive player on the team and says he's the best defensive player on the team. You guys take pride in the defensive end. Yeah. yeah. Thoughts on that, Malik? Bold statement by Caleb Mills. <laughs> 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 Bold statement by Caleb Mills, but, I mean, being a part of a team like Florida State, you got to respect it. You know, yeah. you got to love the confidence. Um, and that's what we want. You know, we want somebody, we want people in there to feel like they're the best defenders because we are predicated on defense, and, and that is something we take a lot of pride in. We know that when all else fails, you have your defense to rely on because that's just all about uh, – effort you know mm -hmm. effort and just being locked in mentally it doesn't require any skill it just requires effort and just paying attention and, and just giving playing with all your heart and all your soul and so caleb is a great defender <laughs> the best <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see about that later on nah yeah i think the same i mean he has definitely shown capabilities of being like a really good defender but like malik said that was a statement by caleb <laughs> 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 but nah yeah uh we compete every day. We, we just compete about who can get more steals, who, who can uh, uh, show that's be the best defender. So uh, it's fun. And we're like, we compete every day, but we make it fun. Yeah. Yeah. Three straight Sweet 16 appearances for you guys. Looking forward mm -hmm. to seeing what you're able to do this season. We appreciate the time. And we can't wait to see the photo when it turns yeah. out. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got to like take a photo of the photo and, and show it to us, I guess, is how you'll have Old to school. do it. Can't of course. There you go. Right? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, Friends you, of mine. You guys want to take another one? We can take another one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's take another one on the way out as we get ready for it. I wasn't too confident in the first one, to be honest. You feel good about the next one. There All we right. go. That's there we go. I have a lot of faith in that one. I have faith in that one. We'll see what happens, guys. We appreciate the time. Thank you. Appreciate it.